Welcome to another coding tutorial and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw these six circles using a while loop. I made a series on introduction to creative coding and in this tutorial, we're going to focus on the concept of a while loop. But I actually made the exact same six circles here using a for loop so you can check that out in the link down below. How we're going to approach this is that first we're going to draw the six circles using multiple ellipse functions. Then we're going to translate that into a while loop and then we're going to color the circles. Let's start with drawing the circles. So we can use an ellipse function and the ellipse function takes in a total of four arguments. The first two are the x and y location of the center of the circle. So we're going to use a built-in variable width and then we're going to divide it by 2, right? So width is 400 divided by 2 is 200. For the y would be height divided by 2. So now we will have a circle at the center of the canvas. And then the size, we are going to start with 300 and 300. We're going to copy it six times. And the size of the circles will be getting smaller, 50 pixels at a time. And there you go. We have six circles. And the reason that the bigger circles are drawn before the smaller circles is because if you don't do this, you will not be able to see the smaller circles because the larger diameter would cover the smaller one, right? If I were to put in the smaller one before the bigger one. So that's not what we want. Next, what we want to do is that we don't want to just copy and pasting these ellipse functions here. What we want to do is that we want to use a while loop to call the same functions. So first, we need to write the word while, right? What are we going to put in this parentheses? I'm going to create a variable, and this variable, I'm going to call it w, and w will start at 300. So I want to tell it that while w is less than or equals to 50, so W starts at 300, and then we're going to decrement it by 50 at a time. So we can get it at 300, and then 250, 200, and so on, right? But once W is less than or equals to 50, I don't want to come into this loop anymore, right? Okay, so we will draw ellipse at width and height here, and W, W here, right? The thing that you cannot forget is an update of this variable here because without that, you don't have an exit condition. And so you will enter the while loop over and over and over again, and then you're going to crash your program. So what we can do is that we can say w equals to w minus 50, right? Oh, what I did wrong is that we don't want while w is less than or equals to 50. We want it to be if w is more than or equal to 50, right? We want to draw. Did you see that? Did you see what just happened? You saw the circles that are drawn and then it disappears. And the reason is because in one draw loop, w went from 300 to whatever the number is, like less than 50 but we never set it back to 300. So what we need to do is that we need to reset this variable. And there you go. So now you have six circles using a while loop. So W starts with 300 and then it decrement by 50 such that once W is no longer equal to 50, then you stop drawing it. And then every time the draw loop is called, we reset W to 300. So now the next thing that we want to do is that we want to color it. But first, let's set the stroke weight to zero. The next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to color the circle. And I'm going to start by creating a variable called C, and I'm going to have it initialized at C equals to zero. We can use a function called fill to color the circles. And the argument that I'm going to put, I'm going to start with 255 times 
c divided by 5. How this works is that because c will go from 0 to 5, so I'm going to use the update to be c equals to c plus 1. So c will go from 0 to 5. That means the argument here will go from 0, right? When c equals to 0, this whole thing is 0. When c equals to 5, this whole thing is 255. So it will go from black to white. And if you click run, you can see that it's all white. And that is because we have not updated the value of c every time draw function is called. So we can set c equals to 0 here. And there you go. And this is just another way to draw multiple circles using a while loop. You can check the other video out when I use a for loop to do the exact same image and just see which one you're more comfortable with using. I think for loop is a little bit more intuitive and also not prone to errors, but it's good to see a different ways of doing the same thing. So give it a try.